Hey everyone, I'm in downtown Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, formerly known as Saigon. I'm going to be eating at the Ben Ta Tower. There's a nice restaurant in here called Di Mai. Kind of popular. They've got bun me available. And salads. Looks like a really nice restaurant. Soup. Wow, there's even more here. It's gonna take me a while just to get through this menu. They ran out of some items. Okay, let's go. Fun fact, this is also inside the building which I'm staying at. So very convenient, just downstairs. But we'll see how the food is. This is the coconut juice dragon fruit smoothie with aloe vera. It's super refreshing. Let's start off on a refreshing note. There's like little chunks of dragon fruit in here too. You can use the spoon to eat it. Mmm. Very good. Wow. What a juice. Mixture of like three different things in here. Um, I definitely taste the coconut. There's coconut chunks on the bottom. Um, the dragon fruit makes everything cool. And the aloe vera, it's just so soothing. And with that, great combination of juice. Here we've got Hoi An style fried wontons with sweet and sour sauce. This looks really, really interesting as a starter. Local Vietnamese cuisine to start off. I think I uh, might have to put this on top of the fried wontons. Wow, it is so crisp. Hmm, spicy. <coughs> wow, this is good. These crispy wontons is like it's so scrumptious. They're filled with something too. I don't know what is like some kind of meat. Very thin layer. That sweet and sour sauce too, and the veggies. Man, I didn't know they can make a dish like this. When you fry the uh, wonton skin, you gotta make sure it's the right consistency or it could break apart. This one, 
wow, everything is put together really well. Yeah. There's meat inside. Um, I would say the sweet and sour sauce is not too overpowering either. That's the perfect about a sweet and sourness. Mm. Okay, we've got here the rice noodles with spring rolls and fish sauce, which is definitely needed in here. Otherwise, way too dry. This looks outstanding, everyone. Got grilled pork and fried spring rolls in here. Let me put some of the sauce in. It's really meant to be like mixed together and tossed. But that really kills the presentation when you mix it together. That's why I had to show it. It looks like there's bean sprouts on the bottom. Cucumber, lettuce. Okay. Let's try this. Whoa. Hmm. Wow, those rice noodles are so like smooth. It's good. And we gotta need we need some more sauce. Let's pour the whole thing in. For real. That has to be some of the smoothest rice noodles I've ever had. Pork. Mmm. Wow, to me it doesn't even taste like pork, it tastes like a meatball. It's really tender and delicious. Fried spring roll. Mmm. Fused with flavor, my gosh. You got that crispy exterior skin, and you got the meat inside. Let's try a nice variety of food. We got bean sprouts, lettuce, rice, rice noodles, everything in here. What outstanding meal and you just feel good eating this. There's so many like veggies in here and um, mixes in all the meats too. It's authentic Vietnamese food here everyone. Definitely, this is two thumbs up for the grilled pork and the fried spring roll um, rice noodles dish. Also, the sauce too, it gives it a little counterbalance of sourness and sweetness. And uh, this was less expensive than the, the starter, I think by like 10,000 dong, so this is definitely worth it. Coconut ice cream with mango sticky rice and it comes with peanut chips and passion fruit. Uh, let's eat this before it starts melting some more. I see the coconut ice cream is already starting to. 
Wow, this is so good. The coconut ice cream is so creamy. We got that, those peanut chips, um, the mango, the passion fruit, everything just mixes in like a big ice cream sundae. Thank you. Mm. Wow. Gotta have the sticky rice. I'm uh, it's not really working the way I want it to because the ice cream is kind of melting already. Mm. It's a good dessert. I mean, I don't think uh, I'm eating it fast enough. It's melting so quick. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoy this experience of D My Restaurant and the Ben 10 Tower. This place is getting two thumbs up for me.